Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss two important concepts related to history and international relations. The two concepts are imperialism and colonialism. Often many students tend to confuse these two. These two terms are complementary in nature, but there is a difference between these two. Most often these two terms are interchangeably used. So we will discuss the meaning of these two concepts. We will also see what is the difference between these two. I am going to explain in a very simpler manner so that everyone can easily understand. So first is imperialism. Imperialism is a condition where a powerful country, a larger power tends to control, influence or even completely rule another country. Generally, the country ruled will be a weaker country. Militarily, economically, it will be weaker. Sometimes it may not have its own military also. The ruled country is referred to as colony. The powerful country, the ruling country, it will be stronger as far as the economy is concerned and military is concerned. This stronger power is referred to as the imperial power. So this state of affairs is called imperialism. The imperial power will control the colony politically and economically. Economically, it will plunder the resources from the ruled country. Politically also, it will take all decisions. The colony will not have its sovereignty. Sovereignty means the independence to rule itself and to take its own decisions. Right? Generally, capitalism is the main driving force behind imperialism. The urge to capture other countries and plunder them is a driving force. For example, our own country, India, was a victim of imperialism long back. We were ruled by the British for nearly two centuries. Only then we got independence in the year 1947. So they ruled India. They controlled India politically. They also economically plundered our country. Right? The other concept is colonialism. Colonialism is related to imperialism. Both are complementary in nature. Imperialism is an ideology. It is a driving force, it is an idea, it is a motive, whereas colonialism is a means to achieve imperialism. It is a form of implementation. Okay? Imperialism is more of an ideological concept. It is a form of power, authority, while colonialism is more of a physical concept. The imperial power will capture the colony physically. Generally, it will use its military might to capture, subjugate the other country. After doing so, it will maintain it as its colony. The imperial power will plunder the colony. It will get all the natural resources. In turn, it will dump its manufactured goods in that country. The same was done by the British in India. Right? So, this is the difference between these two terms. In most cases, colonialism and imperialism will coexist. They will be complementary. In some cases, rare cases, colonialism will not be there, but imperialism will be there. Right? So, this is the basic meaning and the difference between these two terms. Now, there is a associated concept. There are two terms, neo-colonialism and neo-imperialism. Neo-colonialism and neo-imperialism are modified forms of these two concepts. Okay, They work the same way, but they work indirectly. Okay, So, neo means modified, new form. Colonialism and imperialism are generally observed before Second World War. But after Second World War, most countries became independent. The concept of imperialism itself became obsolete. It became redundant. Except some countries, mostly in Africa and some countries in Asia, most countries got 
इंडिपेंडेंस दे गॉट दर सॉवर्टी बट ईवन आफ्टर सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वार सम कंट्री कंटिन्यूड टू बी अंडर इंपीरियलिजम लेटर दे आलो गॉट दर फ्रीडम दे आलो गॉट दर सॉवर्टी बट ईवन टिल नौ इंपीरियलिजम एंड कोलोनिजम ऑपरेट्स इंडेरेक्टली सो दिस इंडेरेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ कोलोनिजम and imperialism is referred to as neo colonialism and neo imperialism for example if you take the case of africa even after second world war the earlier imperial power france continued to have its imperial control over some african countries now this was not done directly but this was done indirectly the rulers in those african countries were under the control of france they were dictated by the french so france continued to politically and economically control those african countries okay so this was an example the same is observed in neo colonialism for example usa even now has its neo colonialism in some latin american countries here there will not be physical subjugation there will not be physical appropriation directly usa will not send its military directly in these countries but it will do so indirectly for example the american government will influence the government of the latin american countries through that they will control the economies of these countries they will plunder the natural resources they will obtain the natural resources from these countries in turn usa will send its finished goods in these countries so this has been happening for a long time in latin america so please note here there will not be physical conquest or subjugation through military but the economic plunder will happen indirectly the economy will be controlled by the imperial power in a in direct manner like i said neo imperialism and neo colonialism operates indirectly through political influence economic influence and even through cultural influence but generally it operates indirectly these operate in other parts of the world also we can take the example of west asia where even now neo imperialism operates the western countries like us uk they have their hold over the west asian countries countries like saudi arabia uae jordan bahrain and so on they are allied with the western powers so the western powers have their neo imperialism over these countries okay so here also the nations are economically controlled generally the western countries obtain oil from these countries in turn they sell their manufactured products to these countries okay politically also these countries are controlled these countries will generally follow the dictates of countries like usa right example of neo imperialism so i hope you now got a good idea about these two concepts thank you